Escondido. It is 10 o'clock in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Welcome here in San Cristobal de las Casas. And I decided before I leave this place to just actually have a little bit of a walk around. Yeah, kind of get to know the place a little bit. I have to say it's a little bit chilly. Uh, San Cristobal is actually sitting at 2200 meters altitude. So it has a quite of a cool climate, but uh, it definitely gets cold in the evenings. And one of the interesting things about San Cristobal is that it has a very large indigenous community. So Mexico has 128 million people. And out of those, there are 17, almost 17 million indigenous people. And in this area of Mexico, the south of Mexico, around Chiapas, you get the Tzotzil Mayas. And there are about 300,000 of them, of which 10%, about 30,000, live here in San Cristobal. And they have their own language, they have their own customs, traditions, everything. Anyway, I have almost arrived already at the first church. It is dotted with churches everywhere. Um, San Cristobal was an, is another colonial Spanish town, so there's a lot of colonial buildings everywhere and churches, of course. But there's also a market right in front of this church, so let's check that out. Oh, there's some popcorn <laughs> going on here. <laughs> Hola! This is the Santa Domingo church. Amazing, right? So they're selling ponchos here and all different types of uh, textiles. But I think actually on the other side of the church is the main, the central market. I'm just gonna see if that's going on as well. See, so this is kind of like the local dress that the women way around here. Oh, you can buy everything here from golden watches to fruits. I love how they arrange everything so nicely. The avocados, the apples in different colors, mangoes. Hola. ¿Cuánto vale este pequeño? 20. 20. Sí, uno por Gracias. Wow, look at these mangoes. Uno de 30, porfa. Uno de 30. Sí. Gracias, señora. I'm just buying all these fruits. I don't really know why, but it just looks so good. Oh, here you can buy chickens and uh, turkey. I think those chickens are actually 
I'm not 100% sure, but I think those chickens are not for eating, but they are for sacrificing. Um, they do uh, animal kind of sacrificing in sort of uh, ceremonies, religious ceremonies. And I, th I think they're for that, that purpose. Not, a, not entirely sure, but uh, I'm not gonna buy a chicken today. I already bought, uh, I don't know, a kilo of mangoes. <laughs> I have arrived on the, the main plaza of San Cristobal. There is the cathedral here. They seem to be doing some construction. There seems to be a construction going on in almost all of the historical buildings. But let's see if I can uh, have a better look at the cathedral from the other side. So this is the main uh, cathedral, but also from this side, it's kind of closed off. That's a shame. And somewhere here, there's a jade museum, which I think is quite interesting. Uh, that houses jade that has been found in uh, Maya tombs and Maya sites. And for the Maya, jade represents the virtues of power, love, immortality eternity so it's a very powerful uh, powerful stone so let's see if the museum is open there it is jade museum wow an entire mask made of jade that is incredible look at that oh. i've never even seen such big pieces See, there's a mask hanging that will be placed. Wow. Just to give you an idea of the size of this tomb, I'll just stand in front for scale. Look at the enormous size, unbelievable. Right, it turned out that they are uh, in the middle of a move, so. It was only that one room that was open, so that was a shame. I was hoping for more uh, amazing jade pieces, but it was only the mask and the tomb. But uh, still pretty amazing. Ooh, a chocolateria. <laughs> of course, we are high up here again, so it's a good place to grow uh, coffee and uh, chocolate. 80% cacao. Look at that. Look at that. So, I bought myself. <laughs> Three chocolates. Sometimes you gotta treat yourself because, well, nobody else is gonna do it. Gracias, adios. All right, it is time to get going. So yeah, I am leaving um, San Cristobal this morning and I am riding pretty much to the next big city, which is called, uh, I can't pronounce it, Tux Tuxla Gutierrez, something like that. So it's only like yeah, a hundred kilometer ride, but I might continue after that, or at least I'm hoping I can. Uh, but I am going to this town uh, again to look for new tires, better tires than these ones. And it has also in Mexico been almost impossible to find tires. Well, there are some, but they are kind of the same what I have now, either the exact same or similar type so that's not really what I'm looking for and to find like a little bit more aggressive off-road tires here has turned out to be almost impossible because even though there are a lot of motorbikes everywhere it turns out that they are either like the small little bikes 
or they are really big bikes but anything in between like my bike they just don't ride them here so especially it's basically my rear tire which is the problem that I just cannot find anything in that size and you know you can go a size a little bit taller you can go a size a little bit wider but even that I just can't find it they just don't 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 exist around here oh this is the wrong way oops this is also really difficult to find the right way not going against traffic but now it looks like there is a set of Michelin Anarchy Wild in Tuxla Gutierrez which which are definitely better than what I have now um, this way it's a beautiful morning it's uh, 7.30 in the morning so it's still quite early traffic lights are all not working yet Lovely streets, right? This is a part of town where I didn't walk, so it's kind of nice to see that as well. I am in Tuxla Gutierrez. And first, there is a quite a big canyon close to here. I think you're probably about 20 kilometers from here. But the visibility today is really poor. I don't know how well you can see that or well. You can't see it. <laughs> so I don't think there's any point in going to uh, a viewpoint if you know you can see here how bad the visibility is. So I decided to first just try and get my tires and then I'll see what I do. Somewhere here, the only problem is that um, I should be on that street, but that's one way. So now I'm trying to find my way around there. Somewhere here then. Ah, there it is. Well, guess what? They don't have them. <laughs> oh, why am I not surprised anymore? It has been such a fruitless search for better tires for so long now that uh, I'm not surprised anymore they had tires in the size I need the exact same ones I have now <laughs> so it's just this type you can find everywhere anything a little bit more off-road orientated they just don't have it they do not have it but anyway the only good thing, I guess, about not being able to change my tires now is that I have a lot of tarmac ahead of me. About 650 kilometers, no more probably. I just have quite a big stretch ahead of me where I shouldn't venture off the main road. Basically, yeah, that's it. I shouldn't venture off the main road. I should just take the, the main road and then after I reach kind of the next area in Mexico, I can do some dirt riding again. Um, but for this part, I don't have a choice. I should just stick to the main highway, basically. So, um, yeah, I've decided to keep on riding then, because that long stretch of tar, I was first thinking of do trying to do it in one day try to do 650 kilometers in one day but uh, that's not gonna be fun of course so 
now that it's well, it's quarter to ten in the morning I have nothing else to do in this place so actually I'm going to use today to try and just reach as far as I can so I've now put my GPS up to 360 kilometers so if I can do that today then I should be at the Pacific coast again actually and uh, from there uh, it's uh, gonna get more interesting so that's the plan new plan plan B well by now this is probably uh, plan Z already but anyway also I still didn't have for breakfast I didn't even give myself time to stop somewhere for breakfast so anyway I hope there if I see like some roadside eatery somewhere then I'll just stop there Block. I mean, this is the main highway. Oh. Well, I guess I got super lucky being on a motorcycle. But look at this. Not sure. Uh, they must be protesting something. I 
understand where all these people come from. We're in, we're really in the middle of nowhere. There's no town or anything. I think they're coming, I think, oh, these people must be coming from buses or... I don't know. Soy mujer. Ah, Hola. ¿Hablas español? Sí. ¿Un poquito? Sí, poquito. ¿Y de dónde vienes? Sí. Uh, hoy vengo de uh, San Cristóbal. ¿Hacia dónde vas? Voy por uh, o sea, un, un pequeño pueblo en el Pacífico. ¿Huatulco, Puerto Escondido? ¿Pochutla, Cipolite? Sí, cerca de Puerto Escondido. Sí. Sí. Hay un, una pregunta, hay un... Hay un... Bloqueo, bloqueo. Sí, Cierro. ¿por qué? No hay problemas en la comunidad. Ah, yo puedo, puedo pasar en moto, sí. pero carros no. ¿Y viene sola y tu acompañante no? No, sola. ¿Sola? Sí. Está bien, mejor solo que mal acompañado. ¿no? <risa> sí. ¿Sí, no? Sí, es verdad. ¿Para qué llevas piedras al río si allá hay? No, hay bastante. Está bien. Bueno. ¿Hay, hay más no, blo eh, Ah, el único, sí, el caracol. Ah, el caracol. Sí, ¿Hay uno más? Pero no lo alcanza a Huatulco. Sí. ¿Cómo? Sí, ¿a dónde va Huatulco? Sí. Escondido. Sí, Puerto Escondido. Sí, yeah. sí, pero... ¿Hay, ¿Hay uno más? Sí. Ah, ok, pero ah, ¿puedo pasar en moto? A lo mejor. A lo mejor y sí. Ya, yeah. sí. ok, voy a probar. Cuidado, pues. Gracias. Oye. Adiós. I told them I'm going to uh, Puerto Escondido, but I'm not going there. Oh, not yet, not today. I think I'll stop uh, before. But uh, yeah, I might encounter uh, one more block. Because this is where I'm going and I think Puerto Escondido is, is further down. Depends a bit on where that block is. I'm almost there, 1.5 kilometers. The ocean is just over here. This place? Oh wow, I'm right here at the beach. How oh, amazing. Let's see if there's anybody here. Estoy buscando habitación. Ok, tengo la habitaciones con clima nada más, están en 500. 500. Sí, su clima, su baño y su cama matrimonial. Ok, está bien. Ok. Muy bien. So, this is my room for tonight. And this is my view. Look at this, I'm right at the beach. There's Alaska. Really nice. It is really, really windy, as you can probably tell. Um, but anyway, I'm staying in a small Mexican village, small fishing community, I think it is. Uh, so that will be fine for tonight. Uh, in the next video, before I leave this place, I'll have a small look around on the beach and have a walk around. But, uh, 
but for now I'm really tired. It was a really long day and man, I just rode and rode and rode. Um, how much did I do? Over 400 kilometers I think today. But uh, yeah, I'm actually really glad with the progress that I made today. So that means that my next ride is going to be a little bit more relaxed. I don't have so much distance to cover for that one, so I'm actually quite pleased with that. And uh, yeah, other than that, nothing to report. So that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and then I'll see you in the next video.